I'm really glad I got to be here. I told Mr. Woods I may not be able to make it because I went to an economic development forum with the uh, minority and the Mid-South Minority Business Continuum. And it was met in Memphis, so I've been in Memphis since yesterday. Um, got here today. And I'm very excited about some of the things that I learned and I'd love to share with you uh, with the, you know, with the board and with the people. Um, some of the things that, that I learned was that uh, there, there's a new way to look at things. We have to quit looking at things in the old model of the 20th century and look at things in the new model of the 21st century of economic development. And I'm not saying that we could, you know, we can't bring, it's not a smokestack type thing where you can bring business in here and build a factory. But um, there are ways that we can do it, and our technology nowadays is such that part of the global economy here. So I'd like to share some of that information with you. Let me, you know, compare some things that I just got back half an hour ago, so I don't have time to gather my books together and all that kind of thing. Um, the other thing I'd like is, as a citizen, I'd, I'd like to uh, consider maybe going back to our, our a couple of years ago, we had the 98 cents on the dollar on the $100 uh, value, you know, the property tax violation. And uh, by reducing it two cents, it, you know, it's, it's probably going to, if, if we do, if we reduce it two cents, and then we also look at the budget closely and see those things that we can take out of the budget, there's probably things in there that, that we can look at, you know, at, at different, like, um, different uh, departments look at and see if there's ways that we can cut some expenses that maybe we don't need anymore um, or they can be done some other way. Uh, there are there are things I'm sure if you, if you look line by line on the as I've done the last week been on the board a couple of years, you probably look at that too on uh, line by line on each department and see those things. Um, I, I'd like to propose that maybe we, we consider Taking it down two cents and uh, removing some of the tax. You know, everybody has to cut back at times. The businesses have to cut back all the time when, they, when there's a need for it. And then we can raise another thing we need to later on. Guys, but it also would be more, uh, uh, more. Uh, I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm driving all this while. It's, it's also be more of an incentive for businesses that they look at it and, and they see that we are uh, kind of doing that too. And, we can, and, and I thought there some ways that we can some place that talk to the Department of Economic Development, a couple of people there, um, University Extension, uh, some of the other government agencies that have to do economic development. So I'm, I'm getting some resources together. I think one of the things we could do, as I said, is if we could reduce the tax down, Cut some of the budget that we could uh, start doing, you know, improving, and we can start giving the people some of what they're actually paying for, you know, some of the services that they're paying for. I'd also like to mention that we, it would be really good if we would give um, and share some information of what we see. As soon as we know something, and it's been a couple of months that we've let her know what's going to be done, if you're going to take care of it as a, some of it as a city or if there's something else that's going to be taken care of. So that's, uh, thanks for letting me show that. I ask that uh, you look at item number H, or G, uh, in your uh, post day order that's review data submitted. I saw that. It says that if we lower our taxes this year, okay, that will be the tax ceiling for next year. So that would be two years we have to put up with the tax ceiling. And right now we're, we're at, at 1%, okay, which we've been for ever, okay. Well, anyway. The point I'm trying to make is that we are now in a position 
where we're barely making it now. That's only because we haven't cut the mat out of the budget. We haven't looked at the budget for it. We well, never looked at the budget. What is that here? That's one of my current dollar loss. So this but cutting the tax rate would be $100,000. We cut the budget, okay? We cut the budget, but the tax rate, the city, city go under. There won't be no city. Well, if we cut the cut it down to ninety eight percent, we'll be uh, bringing in approximately nine thousand dollars less. Yeah, nine thousand. And I don't know if there's nine thousand dollars in the budget that we cut. That's, that's right. a lot. That's a lot of money to be cut. But we haven't looked. See, we're doing a tax rate before we even know what we need in the budget. What the, the history of this has been is that we got to see how much money we can get in so we can see how, money we, how much we can spend. And that's the only way to look at it. That's not the way it's done. But that's exactly what you said one time. Well, I mean, you have a right to your opinion, Diane. And I, you know, well, I'm thinking about that's people. Mine. That's who I represent. Mm -hmm. And I know that people, we, we, have, we have people, we have the elderly in this town. We have the unemployed, okay. Okay, the unemployed, okay. 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 and the disabled. That's, I understand that's a large that. majority of people. I understand that. Okay, I understand that, that most of those people, you know, are on uh, disability. I'm on disability. I know. How much are your property taxes on your home? But see, I don't own any property. I know you don't. Okay. But I do have personal property tax. On your truck? On my truck, my boat, my camper, and everything else, yeah. But personal property is nothing like homes. It probably isn't. I don't know. I don't own any real estate, okay? But that was my choice not to own any real estate to rent, okay? So, that, I'm not, I'm not I, talking I about that. I would be surprised if we couldn't find ways to cut $9,000 out of the budget. I didn't have a budget yet in front of me. We haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, Take it down one cent then. What's one cent for? Five hundred dollars? Yeah, that would be four hundred. I mean, what's it's a penny, you know. We didn't have any see, I looked at I don't have the fifty, but I did it, you know, like oh, it's not on this one. But I got one paper from them when I talked to the uh, uh, county clerk. And then so what what do you think we have we have twelve hundred dollars in new construction this year. Right. I mean, that's that's only improvements that were done in the city. Twelve hundred dollars. The previous year we had a little more than that. People also improve their properties if their taxes are not so high. You know, and if, if they can if, if you can put some of that a little bit of that money back in their pocket, they they can um, do things with their home. They can spend their money in, in their town if there's any place that they can spend it. You know, gas station perhaps. It's about the only or there are elevators, um, and part of the antique mall is you can just, you know, if, but they can keep it more in the community. And uh, I just think it would be, it'd be worth a try. But that, like I said, that is my opinion. I think that I'm speaking for other people because I hear that a lot. Our taxes are too high. Our services are just about nothing. And, um, you know, we what do you mean? What are you calling services? I want to know what you're calling services. What thing is the city of St. Mary getting that they're not getting that they're supposed to be getting? That's what I want you to tell me. What services are you talking about but that they ain't getting that they should be getting? I don't know. You tell me, Diane. What is this city supposed to be getting that they get? Well, one thing, what, what about all this with the roads? They put some the taxes roads? down on the roads, but they slapped it down on top of dirt, cinders, loose pavement, gravel, and they slap it down there. When that stuff freezes, or water gets up underneath there and freezes in the winter, and that stuff going to pop back up again? That's one thing there. Now, you can say you don't know what you're talking about because you're a woman, but that's you know, I, I, I'm not about to tell you that, Diane. I'm not. But I'm telling you that what we, we're working with the bare minimum right now. We're only working with that because we're paying out 
out so much. The only people that are making the money on this are the people that work in the city. Really? You think that uh, the workers, the employees, are, are well, taking all the city's money? tax right.
of grants and that's that type of thing to move taxes. Okay, that you know that is an incentive that I don't know what other incentive that they got, but these are things that we can look at um, to keep this city viable. I, I just don't know if you just keep on the way they're doing spending and coming up with these ideas that come in and say, well, we can spend this much money on this thing, this much money on that thing. But no, we, we can't always spend and not bring in. If it wouldn't work in your home, and it, it doesn't work in your home, it doesn't work in your home. Yes, that's not a good money again. That's right. So every year, everything increases by twice. So it costs you a little bit more value to work with every year. Same with everything. It costs us a little bit more to get on. Sometimes you have to take a little bit of a smart risk in order to grow. We're not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about you now. I mean, yeah, if I if I can't if I don't want a fixed income and I don't want so much money for groceries, that means I have to cut back on my groceries. I can't just go out and buy more. Okay. You know, just because the groceries are high, it means okay, Diana, you have to decide. You know, this, this, how much do you, do you want to cut portions down? Well, do you want to cut your okay. style of eating down? Do want to cut portions down? Uh, there are things. Don't do too much on the street. Don't do too much mowing. We stay home that way. Well, you know, tell me, because you're on the streets, tell me, in the wintertime, mm -hmm. do our workers, are they in there during the day, doing their 73 shift in the wintertime? No, they're working shift. Okay. And during that shift time, are they doing things like pulling grinders and fixing water leaks and getting the middle dinner? Are they all the time, every day? Every day they have that. And then they go out and they work overtime when the snow comes, and they, they work hours into the you morning. Know, after the floor, I can make it easy you to work. You can have a drink of water. You work. You know, this is not, this is, this is the whole reason that we, we don't work together as a party because you all get offended. You're all in question, everything. No, I, that's part of it. That's being diligent. We are responsible for the money that comes in here. You know. Okay, okay. I'm going to do what you want. You want to deal with No, it's not what I want. Well, there's a consensus. If we all say no and vote against it, hey, you know, that's.
amount of money necessary to be raised by taxation for the general revenue purposes during the year 2014 and fixing the annual rate of levy, therefore. Okay, that's a roll call, correct? Motion to approve. Oh, motion to approve. Okay, yeah, motion to approve the order. Number 92. Second. All in favor? Oh, roll call. Well, I've had a discussion. Is there any, what about this, our discussion about that? Is that a separate vote that we have to make? Or we have to vote this first? Because mm -hmm. if we vote this first, then the other discussion is in the point. Well, I mean, we, 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 we had a discussion. I mean, you guys heard, you know, the you know, issues there. Um, we've got this ordinance, which basically is what the county recommends and limits us to be. And right now, we've got a a motion is first and second on the floor to approve this. And, and when, you know, if you want to discuss some more, you know, that's up to the mayor. Are you guys going to change your minds? Okay. We'll call vote. Call the client Kasu. Aye. And then Dennis Bovey. Aye. Aye. Alderman Diane Smith. Me. Mr. Woods, I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Mr. Woods, before we adjourn the meeting, please check because this came up before uh, in the past with two to one votes when we don't have the full board here. If it was three to one, we get to two to one. There may be an issue of the legality of it. Could you check with, with our our attorney to make sure that we can go to one vote. We have. We, a, we a have. A board. I know we have. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it legal because it, it has been brought up before. And um, this, you know, Tim was uh, was a lawyer. with a two to one vote, and they can't do it on two to one. Sure. As long as you got one, you got four. That's it. Well, I keep checking it. Just, just so I know I have the right information. <coughs> If it's if it's all up and up, then then this has been voted the way they want it to go. So I mean, since we got it. So. Okay. So one thing I'd like to say next year when we go through this, I think we need to have a meeting before the meeting. Okay. So we've got time to sit down and talk about it. Try to figure out ideas. Okay. It just gives a little more time to work on it. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Any, anybody have anything else? Okay, I right. make a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Channel 7 and 98 TV and web broadcasting are made possible through contributions and donations from viewers like you. Thank you for your support.